the movie Wolf of Wall Street. But you know, this is a long, um, a long line of movies uh, that goes way back. Uh, you know, probably one of your favorite movies uh, is, um, is It's a Wonderful Life, which I think is one of the most anti-American movies ever made, right? Because think about what it's about. It's about a, a successful banker who's obviously nasty, horrible, a crook, and a bad guy. He's horribly portrayed, right? That's a successful one. That's the one who's actually making money. Versus the not successful one, the, the, actually the one who won't default on anybody because he feels sorry for them, so he won't call back the loans, right? And uh, he's, he, he loses, he, his uncle loses the money and the bank is now in default because they're incompetent. So it's a completely incompetent bank and he's the hero. It's the exact reverse of what it should be. And then, and then instead of going to Paris, which was his dream, if you remember, Jewish stood, wanted to go to Paris, he wanted to live this fantastic life, he sacrifices his real deep held desires and he goes back to his town and leaves a mediocre, unmeaningful life. But he has a lot of friends, so it's okay. Well, okay, you know, you had to, you had to throw that in there. But it's, it's, it's such, and Frank Capra was very anti-capitalist. I mean, Frank Capra, who made the movie, is very anti-capitalist. And, and, you know, this is a movie that, that is trying to undercut capitalism, trying to undercut self-interest, trying to undercut the principles of America. It's a, it's a principally anti-American movie. And every Christmas we watch it, like it's, it's, it's considered the, 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 the American movie. So then if you take that, and you take Wall Street in the 1980s, Oliver Stone, which is a movie you used to use in class, because it is, if you want, if you want to see a movie brilliantly made, I think it's a, it's a great movie aesthetically, but it's pure Marxism. I mean, the lines in there, he just takes out of Marx. Um, and Wolf of Wall Street is just, you know, it's one continuum of, of portraying finance as this despicable activity, this horrific, this horrific thing. Um, and, and you see that throughout, you see that throughout Hollywood. You see that throughout the left. And it's not just, I used to give an assignment to my students. At the, I used to teach a class in finance and ethics. And all the other professors go, but that's a contradiction in terms. You can't teach that. <laughs> I used to give this assignment to students. I want you to go out there and find a book or a movie that portrays a successful financier as the good guy. And they couldn't. And I'd say, OK, well, I'll make it a little easier for you. I want you to go out there and find a book or a movie that portrays a successful businessman as a hero. I six, what's that? Horatio you have to go back to the 19th century. You have to go back to Horatio Alger. Now, there are exceptions, like Batman, <laughs> right? Um, Iron Man, although, you know, he's a little dude. You have to be a superhero, right? Or, um, I mean, a movie hero there that you could find that actually is. But you know who commits most of the murders on television? Businessmen. Businessmen. Over 50% of all murders committed on television shows are committed by businessmen. I mean, there's a, there's, a, there's a group in the Midwest that does these statistics uh, every few years. Who commits the fewest uh, murders on television? Community organizing. <laughs> I don't know if that's a category. Um, pe people who work for the media commit the fewest. And lawyers don't commit. Lawyers are heroes on television, right? Lawyers, are, even though as a culture, we, we have a low opinion of lawyers, or we think we have a low opinion. On television, they're like the heroes, because they're, they're, they're defending the little man. But you've never seen a show portraying businessmen as heroic as doing any, but, but business is heroic. Again, we didn't build America from 1776 to 1914 into this amazing industrial powerhouse because of lawyers. <laughs> the heroes who built America are businessmen. Right? And, but there's not a single television show. I mean, when we do do a show on businessmen, it's called Dallas. And they're scumbags. They're awful, hu horrible human beings, right? There's never a portrayal of a positive. But this is all connected. These are all linked. This is all a result of the morality that we hold and that we hold businessmen as self-interested and therefore evil by definition. <laughs>